Hi guys, Steve here. I'm going to show you how to punch farm with your tech suit, so you don't need to make equipment or tame dinos. And this is especially good to farm element when you're starting off. If you hold the right mouse button for a few seconds, aim and then let go, you'll leap forward doing a super tech punch, and it will farm any resource node you'll hit. To farm metal, normally I'd have to build a stone pick, Farm some metal, build a smelter, build a workbench and make a metal pick. Then when you're high enough level, tame an Anki to farm metal. But when you're starting in Genesis 2 with a tech suit, all you've got to do is go up to a node and punch it. If you punch trees, you'll get some wood, but mainly thatch. And this will work for other resources like obsidian and crystal. But what it's best at is farming element. I'll show you how much we get with a normal metal pick. Just a few shards and stone at the moment. Still only shards, there's one element. Still loads of shards. Not that great, eh? That's what we got from farming one node. Right, now I'm going to show you what you get from punching it. Hold the right mouse button, aim, and let go. Two elements straight away. Element shards. About as much as I farmed entirely with a pick. Four elements. More element shards. Again. One more element. That's how much I've got up to now. Four more, which is nice. Another three. Twenty-five shards. Another three elements. Five that time, that's quite good. Two. One element. As you can see, it's pretty good to farm solid, complete elements. By bringing absolutely nothing apart from your tech suit. What you get automatically. And that's how much element we farmed just by punching. Yes, you can get tens of thousands of element shards with a strider, then convert it into element. But you'd have to tame one, probably a bit later in game. And you can get more full element from a magma saw, but you'd have to tame it on Genesis 1, then import it. But when starting off with nothing, punch farming for elements the best option. I also tried farming Muta Gel this way, but as you can see, the results aren't that great. Got three on that one, which is okay. But one on there, usually it's one to three. And you get overburdened with Ambergris really quickly. Speaking of being overburdened, I bet you're thinking, but Steve, you sexy voice devil, won't you just keep getting overburdened all the time and having to empty all your slots? Well, my awesome viewer who subscribed to my channel and likes all my videos, I would say, if you have a tech suit, being overburdened isn't a problem. As you can see in the icon in the bottom right, I am completely overburdened farming ambergris. However, if you do a tech punch, you can still move around and farm. Just select the direction you want to go and punch and you'll go to it. If you're stuck on the ground, you can punch up in the air. That'll get you off the ground. And then you can fly where you want at normal speed. Then when you come to some more stuff to farm, just punch your way down to it and you can harvest it. It's easy to move around in the void of space in the centre of a map, but you can also move around on the normal maps with gravity. I'm still completely overburdened and shouldn't be able to move. However, if you press control while moving forward, that normally activates your super speed, you are still able to walk around. 
It's a bit slow, yes, but we can get around that as well. Normally, if you double jump, you'll jump high in the air, but those don't work with gravity when you're overburdened. What you need to do instead is do a punch into the air, and you'll just fractionally leave the floor. It's a bit tricky to get used to, which will allow you then to press Control and Shift and go into flight mode, letting you fly around the map as fast as you want, at super speed, even while overburdened. Please like, subscribe, click the bell notifications and all, and share it with your friends. There's links to other videos at the end, comment on what you would like to see. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you again. Goodbye!